Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Wyatt, and today I'm going to be bringing you a new series on how to script on Roblox for beginners. Okay, so for this episode, I'm going to teach you all how to print things to the console and how to add comments to your code. So to start, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new script under Server Script Service by clicking this plus button, and we'll click right here on Script to add a script. Now, we can name this script anything we want, but I'm just going to name it print script. Now, what you want to do first is delete any code that comes up in this script already. Uh, and I'm going to show you exactly how, step by step, we're going to do this. So to start, to print something to the console, we're going to type print. And then we're going to have a left parenthesis, and it'll automatically fill in a right parenthesis. And now we're going to use press shift and then press the quote key and it'll create double quotes. Now whatever we want to print to the console, we type in here. So if maybe I wanted to print, hi, I'm Wyatt, it'll print, hi, I'm Wyatt, to the output panel right down here. So let's just go into the game, and I'll show you what that looks like. See, right here, it says, hi, I'm Wyatt. Let's try printing something else. Maybe let's try saying, blue is my favorite color. Let's try this. Yep, as you can see right there, it just printed blue is my favorite color. So this is pretty cool, but maybe we want to do something different. Like maybe we want to print the answer to a math equation or a problem. And the way we can do this is by saying print with our two parentheses. And then inside of that, we can specify whatever we want to print. So maybe we want to print one plus one. And if we play that, see, it prints two. Maybe now we want to print 3 plus 5. And we can put any math equation in here and it'll print it out to the console. See? 8. Alright, so we printed text and we printed numbers. But now maybe we want to print true or false or a true or false value. So if we say print true, as you can see right here, it'll print true. And maybe we want to print false. So if we just put in here, print false. Let me go and you'll see it prints false. So this is a super easy thing to use. Now I'm just going to go into and explain what print is. Print is something that we call a function. And a function always has some, some text and then right next to it two parentheses. And these two parentheses mean that it's a function that we're going to be using. And inside of these parentheses is whatever we want to tell the computer to do inside of this function. So, if we wanted to tell the computer to print, we say print, and now we want to tell the computer what to print. So, we could say print what's one plus one, or we could print hi, I'm Wyatt, or anything like that. We can print anything, and with functions, you can specify anything that the function takes inside of it. Another example of a function would be the warn function. If we say warn, we can put in maybe error and then if we click play you see error comes up now I'm sure you've noticed when I say print hi I'm Wyatt and then when I print I say print one plus one this one right here comes up in purple and has quotations around it but this one doesn't the reason is anytime that we want to print text out to the console we have to put quotations around it to tell the computer that we want to print text if we didn't put the quotes as you can see right here and we go into the game what we'll get down here is what we call an error and it'll just give us some code it'll say expected right parenthesis to close and we always need to print or we always need to put quotes around things that are something called a string. So a string is any kind of text and you always want to put quotes around it and this right here is a number and you don't have to put quotes around it. So printing is pretty cool and we can do a bunch of prints in a row. We can say print high and white, we can say print my favorite color is blue. But we might not necessarily, if we have a bunch of prints in a row, we might not necessarily understand what those mean. So what we can do is add something called comments to our code. And comments, basically, the computer doesn't know they're there, 
but humans can see them. So what we can do is we, if we put two dashes, just like that, we can type whatever we want that will help us navigate our code easier. So maybe we wanted to say, below prints my favorite color. And then we could go up here and we can add another comment. We could say, below prints my name. So just in case we don't know what the code is saying in the future or we can't understand the code, we can add these comments so that we'll be able to, in the future, easily understand exactly what our code is doing so we can make simple revisions and edit our code in a neat, nice way. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of this new tutorial series, and I hope you learned something new today. See you later.